Hello everybody, I'm Ace Ligon and welcome back to One Night. I just got out of the shower and I felt like playing some, so let's get started. Now, what I did not realize last time is that this door right over here was opened up, so now I can get into this area. Careful of chemicals and chemistry supplies, there is a MHL base inside. Neat. Mark, to prevent the theft of goods if they are intercepted, all new equipment sent to the base is shipped in these new steel containers. The steel is so thick it's impossible to break it with anything. When you begin to receive these containers in your inventory, you must take one of those new MHL chemicals down to the pharmacy and mix it up into the MHL 3 acid. That's the only way to get the crates open. Arthur. So... Have the MHL base. I guess I have to find the chemical lab. Ooh, what's this? There's an old. Yes, I will take that. No point going down there. There's a lot of floor missing. The newly produced MHL series of regents, when mixed together under the right conditions, can create a super volatile type of acid that can melt most metal substances. Caution. To avoid a dangerous overreaction of the MHL chemicals, the density of the mixture should never exceed 450 milliliters. First, add the MHL base. This should take up 32% of the 450 milliliter concoction. Next, slowly add the MHL-1. This should make up 22% of the mixture. The remaining 46% of the compound should be made up of MHL-2. Now place the MHL com compound you have created into a chemical synthesizer to allow it to react safely and form the MHL-3 acid. Important note, extreme precision is required when mixing the MHL series of chemicals, as if the procedure goes even slightly wrong or if amounts added are misjudged, the resulting reaction will produce an extremely toxic fume which can cause fatal poisoning upon inhalation. Right, let me see something real quick. So the base should be 32, the 1 should be 22, and the 2 should be 46. Sure, I'll have to remember all that. Chemical synthesizer. So this is where I mix everything. So it's asking how many milliliters. So it's supposed to be 450 total and 32% of that is supposed to be the base. So let me think a minute here. All right, so I just I just did some math, and it looks like I have to do 144 of the base. It's 99 of the one, and 207 of the two. All right. Now I've got to put it into the synthesizer. 
Okay. How many seconds? Forty seconds for each fifty mil. This is four hundred and fifty milliliters. So that would be nine times forty. Six minutes. Hmm. Chemical has changed color. I think it worked. Awesome. What was that? I forgot to read this thing over here. Uh, okay, nothing interesting. Alright, I'm back. I had no idea what I was doing there for a minute, but I completely did not notice this steel crate over here. I guess that's what I'm supposed to... Oh, there we go. I now have explosives, which is what I needed at the end of the last episode. Perfect. Whoa, what the? Oh, that thing got out. Shit. Oh crap. 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 Shit. 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 You stay behind there, you stick wind. Fuck. This, this game is pretty good. Yay, explosives. Who is that screaming? That doesn't sound good. Oh, what the f... Who are you? Oh, Jesus. Crap, crap. Sons of fishes. Oh crap. Uh oh. This is a safe room. Yes. <sighs> Underground key. I will take that. Yes, thank you.
It appears that the parallel universe that the breach test attempts to access is composed of atomic matter that was eliminated in our own universe at the time of the Big Bang. As such, it is reasonable to assume that, in theory, the laws of physics of the other universe are considerably different to ours. I've run some simulations, and it, it is apparent that if an accidental merge were to occur, the results would be disastrous if the two universes were to meld together. I knew it. A merge is two universes fusing together. These experiments are far too dangerous to continue. I must inform the administrator of this before the experiment tomorrow, before humanity itself is put at stake. Ah. Ooh, a dead guy. Looks like he was only killed recently. There was a deep slash across his throat. Has a. S Wonder what that does. I'll figure it out as soon as I. What was that banging sound? Stun gun. Thank you. Well, someone's clumsy. Fadlock. I'll leave it for now. Old letter on the table. To T. Bergstrom. Re spare parts from S. Roberts Maintenance Department. Timothy. You requested that we send you a spare power conduit in the event that one of the existing ones is ever lost or fails. I managed to secure this item and I had it placed into my locker in the re restroom of the underground. I'm a security freak so you may have some trouble unlocking it. If that's the case you can figure out this code and I help you out. Enter the words with a capital first, then lowercase. What? Alright, I need to try and figure this out. I'll be back. Okay, so I had to consult the walkthrough again because I could not make any sense of that freaking riddle over there. But I'm supposed to put in make Green Red And it's open and I got another power conduit. Awesome. There's another power conduit. Yeah, oh shit, oh shit. Ah, motherfucker. Who's that? Who's there? Show yourself. Okay. It's okay, I'm not going to hurt you, I just. 
Ace Lincoln, it's you. Yes, it is. How are you doing? It, it really is you. I thought you hadn't survived. Yes, although I'm afraid I don't recognize you. You don't remember me? I had hoped that maybe if you had survived, your memory would have remained intact like mine, but you've lost your memories too, just like all the others. My name is Tiffany... M Tiffany Molloy... Uh, and I am the one who brought you to this complex. You were the one who was helping me put a stop to the experiments being carried out here. I was here with you, trying to stop the experiments, but that man, the administrator, he told me that whatever happened here was an accident. You're saying I was helping you to prevent that? Hmm. I think it better I explain it all. If anything, I owe you a full explanation anyway. Come on and I'll tell you. Something tells me she's gonna die really soon. Okay, Ace Ligon, I'm sure that by now you've become aware of the types of experiences that were conducted at this complex. I think so. Some sort of physics experiments. They had discovered the apparent existence of another dimension and were attempting to make contact with it. That's what that man told me was a breach. Yes, you've pretty much got it correct. You see, this complex was a laboratory the government established disguised as a military facility, especially for research regarding this newly discovered phenomenon. The reason this place was chosen is because this was once the site of an old prison, the very one we stand in now. A prison? Why would that make them choose this place to be their lab? The experiments were quiet. Uh, the experiments required human test subjects. The machine which created, creates the breaches they studied here, it requires a certain quantum fluctuation to work, a certain electrical charge. Are you referring to brain impulses? The only known source of this charge seems to be the human brain. I knew it. I was told that it may have something to do with the complexity of the human brain. I'm not sure how exactly. The prison here was reopened and used as a storage area for the test subjects, who in this case were prisoners who were transferred from death row in other facilities to this compound. That's pretty fucked up. I see, is that the reason why we were trying to stop the experiments? Some people thought it was inhumane at first, but the government approved it as long as the, the test subjects were not innocent civilians. We weren't sent because of that. We were sent here to stop the administrator of this facility. Mr. Alex Marshani from intentionally using this facility to cause a... So Marshani was trying to cause a merge. That motherfucker. Caused a merge intentionally? But what exactly is a merge? Uh, fusing two universes together, we've already figured that out. All I know is that a merge is, when the word, is the word the scientists here use to describe the event of two dimensions fusing together rather than just the small windows between them. That is a breach. That a, that a breach creates. I called it! I don't exactly know how such a thing happens or exactly what it entails, so you'll have to ask someone else about it. As for the reason behind Marshani wanting to create it, that is quite obvious. Money. We at the CIA began to investigate the matter, and we soon discovered that a third party, obviously interested in the potential of a merge as a weapon, had been paying Marshani to alter the calibrations of the lab equipment. Okay, so he's trying to create a merge at the request of someone else. What happened then? Our contact inside the compound helped us escape from the prison era, area, and we split up from that point, each one of us hiding in a different area of the base trying to find a way to stop the tests occurring. Marshani came to know that we had escaped from ourselves. He made his technicians reconfigure the equipment to his specifications, claiming that it had been sabotaged to create a merge, and he had us recaptured. How did he know what we were doing? I don't know. Someone must have been feeding him information on what we were planning. Anyway, when he had us recaptured, he promised us that we had not foiled him, and that we would be his next test subjects. He chose you as a first. I hope that my attempts to sabotage your power would stop the equipment working, but of course they ran on the backup grid. The merge occurred and now we were, are left in the aftermath. Shit. I suppose I should be lucky then. If what you say is true, the test subjects used in the experiments are killed. I wonder how I was able to survive the event. 
I heard of the event after it had already happened. It seems you attempted at the last minute to escape, throwing one of your captors into the machine instead. You must have run to the medical room to hide and blacked out when the merge finally consumed the base. Do you have any memory of a bright light that would be the merge occurring? Yes, I do have memories of that, and there was a very loud scream. Was that me? I remember. And what happened to the others? Oaks died in the merge, and Roberts, he was killed by that monster, just like everyone else. He chased them all down and killed them all, one by one. I'm sorry, so you've seen that monster too? It stalks the complex looking for the people who are still alive. It finds those who survived the merge and those who have, been, have survived the attacks of those creatures, and it kills them. Nobody ever survives once it marks them as its prey. Soon it will kill us too. I don't know what it is or where it came from, but it is the reason why all of the initial survivors aside from you, me, and Marshani are dead. Chases me too. There must be some way to get rid of it. Anyway, I'm going to try and find a way out of this place. Maybe if we team up, we'll figure something out. Well, I'm not so sure. The others tried to escape, but that monster hunted them down eventually. But maybe you're right. It's pointless going alone. We need to look out for each other. That's the spirit. Two heads are better than one. Now let's get to work on putting the power back online. That's the first thing we need to do. And she is definitely going to die. Okay. Activate. It won't turn on. Parts of the power grid are missing. Central connection to the power grid. Looks like it is still missing some parts. There are three slots to fit things into. I'm going to plug all my power conduits into this. Let's see now. Power has been turned on. Sweet. Ah, oh, fuck. The monster's a he? Yeah, I guess this isn't a safe room. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, she killed all the blue guys. Well, she killed one of the blue guys, it looks like. Leave me alone, you asshole. Crap, 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 crap. So am I safe now? Okay, I have to go back to that one room. Use it. Start of disk into the computer. Now the terminal is ready to be used. Settings utility for 3.5. Okay, I'm 
I'm gonna look around. I'm sure there's a clue to that somewhere in here. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I think the date on this logbook might be important, so I'm gonna try that as the password. Dated 2012. Shit. Wait. July 7th, so... That work. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna have a look at that again. I'll be right back. All right, let's try this again. It's July 7th without the 2012 in it. Yes, awesome. System will now activate. I am standing on this girl's head. Now I should be able to open that door. I just remember there's a door which led out of this building in the west corridor. I know the code to open it, so if you get us there safely, I can... You are definitely going to die. That sound was not good. I have to deal with that blue bitch again. Know the code to open this door, I'll open it. Okay, thanks. Yeah, now let's get out of here before those monsters catch us. And there's where I use the key card, I guess. Yes, I'll take the handgun. So of course I didn't notice this. There's another door down here. Ooh, what's this on the table? Take. If ever such a phenomenon as dimensional merging were to occur, it is entirely feasible that portions of both dimensions would fuse together to make a mixed dimension which means that it is quite possible that there would be a reaction within the space-time which would cause the environments involved to rapidly advance in time the instant the merge occurred. This sudden time shift would be completely unnoticed by the life forms which may have survived the merge, because it is thought that merges stabilize within just decades of their inception, the time shift makes it impossible for anyone left alive in the mixed dimension created by the merge to escape. However, some scientists have theorized that if the mixed dimension's twisted space-time could be undone, all the time shift would rewind and escape would be possible. This could quite... I pressed enter too soon. To be done by the survivors who wish to escape would be to physically detach the two portions of the original two dimensions from each other. If this is done, the mixed timelines would also detach, undoing the initial reaction. 
This task can be performed in the aftermath of the merge event quite easily. All that is required is that the survivors place two charged atomic destabilizers in each of the two portions being detached, and then activating them. This will cause the mixed dimension's physical makeup to break up, splitting it into the two original dimensions again, undoing the time shift caused by the merge event initially. Cool, I got a key. So I go back down this way, I guess. Where am I now? Oh shit. Oh crap. Crap. Crap! Leave me alone, you dick winds! Damn it! Sons of bitches! Okay, so this is a place. It's fresh. It would appear that I am all out of defensive items. Fuck. Another survivor didn't get a chance to find a way to escape. She had a small bag in her hand. Thank you. So I now have the level 2 key card. That should be helpful. Nope, I highly doubt that this is a safe room. I just got that knife! I'm sorry, what? Okay, I'm back in the uh, prison safe room. I ended up getting hurt a bunch on the way there and I had to use two of my uh, health kits. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.